from the early Cambrian period, around 542 million years ago, to the end of the Permian period, 251 million years ago, trilobites, a species of arthropod, inhabited the prehistoric oceans. Through the almost 270 million year stay, trilobites went from dominating the seas to beginning a slow decline and eventually being wiped out forever. So how did these ancient bugs survive for so long, and what did eventually kill them off? So what exactly was a trilobite? Well, trilobites are recognisable for their three segmented bodies. All trilobite bodies were divided into three regions from their heads to their tails. The cephalon, which was their head structure, their thorax, which was the middle of their body, and their pygidium, or tail region. All trilobites also had three body lobes. Two of these were on each side of the middle lobe, known as the longitudinal axial lobe. Like all arthropods, trilobites had exoskeletons, which had to be shed for the animal to grow. Each segment of a trilobite's body had a pair of appendages, the forwardmost of these was used to feed. The majority of trilobites had compound eyes, which were exclusive to arthropods, although some trilobites had no eyes at all. Trilobites first showed up in the early Cambrian period, roughly 542 million years ago. Straight away they were hugely successful, with their fossils being found on every continent on Earth. A particularly successful genus was the Olenellus, a genus of trilobites found in early Cambrian rocks from 542 to 521 million years ago. This genus was incredibly common and widespread. Many people believe that by the middle Cambrian period, 510 million years ago, trilobites had already peaked as the number of trilobite predators was growing, and this may already be when the trilobites entered a very slow decline right up until their eventual extinction. Through their extensive history, Different genera of trilobites inhabited more or less every available aquatic niche. Some buried themselves in sediment on the seafloor, some crawled around, and some swam freely. Some were scavengers, some were predators, and some ate decomposing organic matter. This is known as being a detritivore. For the almost 270 million year existence, trilobites constantly evolved and adapted to the ever-changing aquatic landscape, and one of the most successful species in the history of the planet. For some context, Trilobites were around for more than double the entire reign of the dinosaurs. So all this leaves the big final question, what did eventually kill off the trilobites? By the start of the Permian period, 299 million years ago, trilobites were only just about surviving, with the few genera of trilobites still around, only about one centimetre in length, although despite their struggles, the remaining trilobites were still very widely distributed, with species being found all over the world. While they were still hanging on, it would only take something small to wipe them out, and 252 million years ago, that something happened. This something was the Permian extinction, or the Great Dying, an event which wiped out about 95% of marine species and 70% of terrestrial species. This cataclysmic event's causes are still unknown, with some possibilities being volcanic action in Siberia or an impact event, much like the KT extinction that will end the Cretaceous period and kill the dinosaurs. Like almost all other life on Earth, the already struggling trilobites didn't survive the permanent extinction and were left with the fossil records, and this huge devastation of life paved the way for a new era, the Mesoic Era, or the Age of Reptiles. While trilobites are long dead, their story isn't. Today, trilobites are some of the most common and iconic fossils on the planet. The study of them has been extensive, and many new fossils are being found regularly. In fact, trilobite fossils are so common that you can buy them for cheap or find them yourself at various spots throughout the country in the wider world, with whales being a particularly good spot to find them. And while trilobites themselves may be gone, their close relatives, horseshoe crabs, still inhabit the oceans today. <laughs>